So yeah, uh, if you have been watching my latest video, you may be wondering why I'm moving things around again. Um, my flat stayed in that configuration during a month or so. And yeah, I realized that I wasn't facing enough the direct sunlight when I was in the corner painting. And it really affected my mood. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have a lot of light in my apartment. And so yeah, better enjoy it as much as possible. Also, I realized that I wasn't that messy and that the white sheet didn't really serve any purpose. Also, I think the couch really belongs under the mezzanine. It's way, way better under there. So I went to one of my favorite art stores in Amsterdam where you can find so many famous artwork posters uh, and I bought this print from Matisse uh, called Les Poissons Rouges uh, and I freaking love it! <laughs> So yeah, here is the result. Uh, I think this is the best configuration for my flat. This way I can work with the direct sunlight, but I can still have an easy access to my window. And yeah, this way I can be all cozy on my couch under the fairy light and the mezzanine. Yeah, I think I, think I, I did a, a good job. <laughs> Now time to sketch! Uh, so I only had 4 double pages left in my sketchbook, so I decided to finish it during this video. Uh, for this first spread, uh, I decided to go with a lot of colors. Uh, I'm using the watercolor colored pencil uh, from the brand Faber-Castell. I really love them because they're not too dry, uh, they are very pigmented and yeah, I think they blend well together. My sketchbook is a moleskin, by the way. And so, yeah, for this one, I kind of went with the flow. Uh, I've been into drawing abstract shapes a lot lately. Uh, it helps to ease my mind and I really like to see how and where my hands uh, takes me. Uh, I guess it's a bit like automatic drawing, but not as quite because yeah, I'm, I'm drawing the same shapes over and over. Uh, they kind of look like marine flowers to me, but yeah, I don't really know why. Uh, by the way, I apologize if the quality of the video isn't the best, the light keeps changing because yeah, I'm facing the window. Um, yeah, I, I hope it's not too bad, uh, tell me in the comments. Anyway, uh, the voice over me is going to leave you now and let you enjoy this speed drawing.
So yeah, at this point I liked it, but it felt too uh, psychedel psychedelic. How do you say that? Psychedelic? I don't know. Sorry. Felt too psychedelic. I'm going to say it like this uh, to me. Uh, I mean, I don't have anything against uh, psychedelic art, but it's not my style of art. Uh, and yeah, anytime I try to add yellow in my artwork, there is something inside me screaming, no, I don't know, it doesn't feel right. Uh, I don't know why, and it's funny because my sister reminded me the other day that yellow was my favorite color when I was a kid, and that for a very long time my bedroom walls were bright yellow. So yeah, I don't know if there's a link there, but yeah. And the funny thing is that the editing me now kind of like this spread with the yellow. But at the time I was like, nope, let's remove all the yellow and replace it by a dark green. And it definitely felt more right to me instantly. So yeah, I'm really happy about this double page and I think it could be nice to have this kind of shapes into a large uh, frame poster. I don't know. What do you think? Tell me, guys. <laughs> So for this second spread, I'm drawing a lot of faces. Uh, I don't use any references for them, and so I think it's always funny to discover them along the process. It's like, uh, apparently your sleeping brain can't create people he's never seen before. So is it the same with my drawings? Like, are they strangers I met randomly in the street? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I don't have much more to tell you on this one. Um, I started to draw all the faces and then fill the pages with elements uh, that inspire me. Uh, I use references for those. And yeah, I don't know why I'm very attracted to marine life lately, uh, like fishes, seashell, algae. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'll leave you to it. Enjoy.
So for this one I decided to mix the first spread I did with the second one, uh, so using colored pencil to draw a face. Uh, I'm sorry if you can't really see the face, uh, the color that I'm using is a light gray, so yeah, the video doesn't give it justice. Sorry about that.
it guys for today. Uh, I'm very happy and proud. I have uh, finished this notebook that I started in England back in 2019. <laughs> uh, maybe someday I'll do a sketch tour if you want. Tell me in the comments if that's something that you would want to see. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with the spreads that I did. Uh, I think it's pretty colorful and it's rare because all of my notebook is pretty black and white. Um, but yeah, that's it for today guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, comment if you liked it and see you very soon. Bye bye!